Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Terranova and today I am bringing you a special little review slash first impressions video of the new uh, Sims 4 Kids Room stuff pack. So I don't know about you guys, but I think this pack has been long, long overdue. The last few things that have come out for The Sims 4 have been very, very child light. <laughs> in terms of hair and objects and uh, clothing items. So it's nice that we have this whole pack now uh, just full of stuff for kids. So I'm gonna get right into it. I have my um, my family that I usually use to showcase custom content, but I'm gonna use my sim self child version and the sim I modeled after my younger brother to show you the clothing and hair items first. Now I have not looked at uh, anything for this pack except for what I saw in the original trailer where they uh, kind of showed a couple items and the uh, dine out stuff. So this is all going to be my first impression that you guys get to see. So I'm going to have to go ahead and where is it? Way down here at the bottom. All right. So it looks like we have four hairs for the uh, female child. Uh, let's go ahead and look at these. So this is one that we saw in the trailer. This one I think is really, really adorable, even in different colors. Like, it just, it's really cute to me. It's a little funky. It's fun. I like it. I like it. Which color? Okay, that's the hair color I had. Pretty sure. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. All right, next we have, this one comes with a, it comes with a bow. It is so cute. That is the most adorable in-game ponytail hair I think I've ever seen for a child sim. That is so cute. Does the bow change color? And the bow changes color. That is absolutely adorable. I like this. With the black bow. That is cute. And then you even have green and purple and red. This is probably my favorite right here. This is my new all-time favorite child hair for the sims. Just saying. Just saying. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna keep moving on so I don't gush too much over these items, but this is the next hair. It's very, very, uh, simple, I would say. Shorter, and just kind of swept to the side. Alright. Alright. It's out of the way. And the next is this adorable little curly do, which... Eh, I'm not a huge fan of in blonde. In the darker colors, it looks nice. You get the little highlights going in there. Um, yeah. Yeah, all right, I think the brown would look okay. All right, back to blonde. Um, I'm gonna put this hair on her. Just because, just because I don't remember what hair I had on her originally. <laughs> um, go into the boys, I think it's, yeah, all right, so these are the boy hairs, the, the masculine child hairs. That's kind of what I figured. I kind of like the curly one on the boy. On the boy, I think it looks a lot more cute. Um, this one I'm not totally sold on, but, I mean, whatever, you can't be too picky. I'm gonna put him back in his original hair. Uh, no, this hair. All right, now on to the clothing items. So it looks like we have quite a few things here to look at. I'm gonna go ahead and sort by pack. So, uh, all right, now we got four full outfits that we have to show and go with the first one. I'll take her shoes off so you can kind of see it a little better. Um, it looks like we have some classic ripped jeans with a little tee and a little cardigan sweater on top. Comes in a variety of more typically masculine color combinations as well as some feminine color combinations. So that's pretty cool. Actually, this whole outfit right here is pretty cute with that hair. So I, I like that, that you get one outfit, but it comes with options to fit both the uh, masculine and feminine kind of tastes. That's actually a really cool idea. I like that. I like what The Sims is doing with that. Uh, next we have this, which is another ripped jean set with a little uh, plaid tee over a long sleeve underneath. And it looks like we have a couple of various options for this. This I feel would go really well for an outdoorsy sim or a sim that would love to just, I don't know, go out and play instead of having to sit inside. I actually think it's really cute. Um, I like the color combinations a lot with the jeans and the top. So that's cool. Alright, next we have this, which is like a little romper kind of thing. That's adorable. It's like a like a one-piece outfit. That's that's nice. It's about time we got a nice kind of like short one-piece outfit for girls. 
because let's face it, um, the short options for girls are young girls in The Sims 4. Not the most... Not my favorite. Not my favorite. <laughs> Alright, but we have a lot of different options. Uh, once again, it looks like we have more masculine and then more feminine color options. And then finally we have this, which is adorable! It's a little Razorback uh, tee with a little fruit on it and these cute little, almost boho looking shorts. Just a fun summery outfit. Comes in a lot of different colors as well. I like it. I think this is really cute. I could see myself putting a lot of my young girl sims in this outfit. Um, I like the pineapple too. I like this. This goes well with her hair. Alright, moving on to shoes. Uh, let's go ahead and filter once again. Alright, so we have one pair of shoes it looks like. These are tennis shoes. Uh, they look very similar to um, a pair of shoes that we have for the adults. It's the galaxy print. Alright, um, but they have a lot of different fun color combinations. So that's pretty cool. We've got some leopard prints and then we also have some solid colors. So, ooh, I like that. Alright, and we've got some red. Alright, so once again, one style, but it looks like it's made to tailor both masculine and feminine uh, styles. Alright, let's move on to the tops. I'll go ahead and filter it. Alright, so we have quite a few tops to pick from, actually. Quite a few. I think that really makes up for the lack of full body outfits. I was getting kind of worried when I only saw four. But anyways, we'll go through these. I'm going to just put a bottom on her real quick. Alright, so we have three bottoms. I'm just going to go with these. The pink splattered ripped jeans. Alright, so this is our first blouse. It looks like it comes in a couple different color combinations with some sparkly gem things on it. Ooh! It's sequenced and it actually changes glitter as you move around! That is cool! I didn't actually think it would do that. <laughs> Alright, but this is very cute. I think this would be really good for like a preppier style or even like a like a dress up kind of thing. Like I, I could see this with that skirt that was in the bottoms. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Yeah. I could see this. This could be easily an outfit for like a party attire or something like that. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Alright, moving on. Back to the rip ripped jeans. Uh, we have... Oh my gosh, this is adorable! It's like a long sleeve little sweater with a cute little crop jacket on top with the little, little studded leather there too. Alright, just get through a couple of the different color combinations. I really like this one. Not with those pants, but I like it. I love this top. It's adorable. It's cute and sassy at the same time. Alright, next we have this with a little a little uh, sequin thing on the side. Um, I'm sensing a theme in the colors here. It's very gradient, very uh, printed. Ooh, it's got like emojis on it. That's cute. Very pastel-y. Very summery. I like it. I think this one, this one I like a lot. I don't know why. Just color combination. Alright, and then there's some bold patterns as well, so it's a little more versatile of a top. Looks like we have a new hooded sweater um, with a little leaf design on it, and I think the leaf design stays on all of them. Yeah, alright, so a lot of different color combinations there. We have a rolled up t-shirt with this boy with a hat on it. Interesting. Looks like he's the same every time and just the, uh, the top or the color changes. Then we have the Galaxy Cat shirt. I did see a little hint about this on Twitter. Something like, are you Team Galaxy Cat or Taco Cat? That's... I didn't mean to look, I'm sorry, that's all I saw. But it comes in like a bluer version and a purple version. Which would be really cute with the Galaxy leggings, just saying. Alright, we have... looks like the same shirt, just a wider range of patterns. And they've got like some geometric designs on them in multiple colors. Um, this is probably one of the more masculine shirts, I'm guessing. And then we have the same style again, but with uh, a little more graphic tee on it. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. So we've got this little, like, bear, bunny, rodent thing. And then we've got uh, the heart with, uh, I don't even know what that's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be a bunny. But they come in a wide variety of bright neon colors. I think that's cute. It's adorable. Oh, and this guy's in the middle instead of on the side. That's cool. Alright. <laughs> How many versions of this shirt do they have? Alright, so we've got this one, which is more like a band tee kind of 
skater boy graphic tee. This is definitely one of the more masculine shirts that they have available. But this, this could be worn by a girl very easily with the pink. Well, it could be worn by a guy, too. All of these could be worn by guys or girls, but I don't know. I don't know. Moving on. This one has a giraffe. <laughs> Alright, we've got... Ooh, this one's in color. What's... What is that on top of its head? Is that supposed to be hair? I don't even understand. I don't know. Alright. Yellow and red. Alright. And now we have this little uh, short sleeve tucked in shirt. This is probably one of the more feminine ones. Just guessing. I think these ones were more masculine in these bottom four. Look like they're all the same shirt. Different graphics again. So they're probably the more feminine ones. But this is cute. The little guitar cat. Very, very adorable. And then we have one with a llama on it. Is this supposed to be like a superhero shirt? I think it is. That kind of reminds me of like the uh, the Batman sign in the sky where you have to light up and all that stuff to call him. That's what it reminds me of, especially this color. Yeah. Calling Llama Man, save the day. <laughs> Alright, and then we have... Ooh, this must be the boy band tee. Alright, looks like it's the same guy on all of them, which is kind of a... Adorable. I like that they put a sim child on there. It's kind of kind of creative. Very cute. All right Do we even have that hair in game? I don't even remember. I never make boy sims Especially not child sims. All right Lots of different colors. I really like it. They even changed his shirt color. That's adorable All right, and then we have this puppy with a monocle and a hat All right, all right, so it comes in three different colors and it looks like that is all for the shirts now pants so we already saw these with the ripped hole and it looks like they come with flowers on them in solid colors that's nice a little more versatile brighter colors and uh more flower ones or patterned ones that looks like it's like cheetah or leopard print maybe Ooh, i like the purple ones the splatter print and the flowers on it all right all right and then this is the final pair these are Probably, I'm guessing, the masculine pair. Uh, they just look a little wider. I don't know. I don't know. But these are cute. I like the beige ones. That could be really adorable with a lot of different things. Alright. Lots of uh, more neutral colors on this one. More, more uh, tamer colors. Alright. Alright, it looks like that's all of the new stuff for the outfits. Um, I already checked all the hair. It looks like there's nothing new in any of that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just check to see if there's anything else new in any of these. It doesn't look like it. But it looks like you can wear the full body outfits for the pajama. That's really cool and the athletic, so that would be nice. Alright, alright, alright. Looks like that is all. And there's no new accessories, which I'm a little bummed about. I would have liked to see some accessories and even like hats and glasses and stuff but i don't know i don't know we did get a lot of really cute clothes and some adorable hair for the girls at least i'm not totally sold on the boys hairs but that's fine now i wonder if there's anything actually new from this are these new too or is that just oh these are new okay so these are um, masculine only clothing for the boys this one is really cute it looks like they took a couple of the styles from the um uh, adult shirts and kind of miniaturize them for the boys. This is cute with the purple and his little strawberry blonde hair. I like it. I like it. Alright, and then this one has a little vest. This must be the equivalent to the girls with the uh, little studded leather jacket, the crop jacket. Ooh, that's bright colors. I like that. Reminds me of McDonald's. Alright. Some of them even have little patterns on it. And then this sweater is definitely definitely miniaturized from the adults all right so it's got a different range of colors and it looks like ooh, the striped ones that's pretty cute it's pretty cute with the stripes all right i think that is everything nothing else new in here okay uh full body we already looked at it was definitely these two that were the more masculine colors but again a boy could definitely wear this if they wanted to uh bottoms it looks like they only got this bottom all right called it and then of course the new shoes um i'm wondering if there's anything else oops I should probably probably switch to these all right looks like that is about it so i am going to just exit out of here exit create a sim please 
Um, and then we will go and check out the build by mode stuff. So if you are new to my channel and uh, have never seen this family or this lot before, this is the uh, file that I use to showcase custom content. And so this is my show house. <laughs> uh, that's all it is. It's a show house. It's just white interior, easy to showcase build by items. So that is what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Um, I'm not sure if... I don't know. Where's... There it is. The room. Okay, so... Let's filter items by the new pack, kids room stuff, and we'll take a look at the full rooms first. So it looks like there's three of them. Um, I'm just gonna buy them and place them and... Oh, actually, no, let's look at this first. Alright, so this one, um, looks like it's all decked out for pink. You could have blue and pink, or you could have the more teal aquamarine. Um, I personally really like the girly girl pink. So I'm going to go ahead and place that one. Alright, next we have the Master Playroom. That first one was called All to Myself. This one comes with mul like a uh, darker wood and dark blue palette, a pink and purple palette, and a teal palette. Um, I think I'm going to go with the uh, blue and dark wood. Place that right there. And then the final one is called Can Have It All. It looks like it's a bedroom. It's got a little bed in there. Um, I really like this teal setup. Uh, there's also like a yellow and pink one, which is very adorable. And, uh, like a new, like a darker, darker red and blue. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the yellow, actually. I, I prefer the yellow. Alright, we'll just place it right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here. So this one has like a little bit of a bay window, a little closet dressing area. This is adorable. It's like a little cubicle thing. Um, this cute little partition to cut off the bed area, some wall decorations all over the place, some new posters, that's pretty cool, and some new art, and then a little computer station, and these fun, fun lights on the ceiling. Alright, so that's the first bedroom. This is the playroom, which has, um, it looks like that same little cubicle thing with a TV and a new bookshelf, a little crafting area. I love, love this poster! I love that poster. Oh my gosh, it's like Mega Man. Not Mega Man. It's like a giant robot thing. Giant robot thing, yeah. Yeah, all right. Um, this is the new game thing. I know that much, it's the gaming console. And then this is the new puppet theater, which I really wanna see um, my sim self child version and my sim I made after my brother to play in that. I think that'd be really cute. Looks like we have a new little stuffed animal and a treasure chest of some sort. I wonder what that is all about. And I like this with the medals and stuff. That's cute. Alright, and then finally we have this last bedroom, which has some shelves and bookcases, and looks like they have the posters up on the wall and the robot on the floor, and this trash can is adorable. <laughs> Alright, but they've just got like a little TV nook and some stuff on the wall and whatever this is, a little wardrobe dresser thing. Alright. Alright, so we kind of got a preview of the items used in those rooms, but I'm gonna go ahead and it's already filtered to kids room So we have all of these new things to kind of look at so first off is the Betty by sleeper It looks like it's got it's, it's a standard single bed with a couple of shelves underneath and it comes in That's not what I wanted. I wanted this comes in a wide variety of colors. Um, I like this with the little That's a hamster That's like a mouse hamster thing, isn't it? It's not a bear. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but it's got elephants and it's got some geometric shapes, just regular lines, pink zebra stripes. It's got another little dribble hamster thing. Um, ooh, that looks like clouds. That's cool. Um, and we have the robot guy, which I'm sure we'll find out what his name actually is in a little bit. More geometric designs. This looks funky and I like it. I really like this one. And ooh, I like this one even better. All right. All right, so that's that. Uh, I'll go back to all. All, okay. All right, did we filter items? Kids room, please, okay. All right, oh, that's because we already clicked on it. All right, I was expecting to see the bed still up here. I don't know, I don't know. But here is our new section of sectional chair. Looks like it comes in a wide variety of colors to match the bed. A couple of them have patterns. I'm going to go ahead and click this one. I know it doesn't match our bed, but it's cool. Shows one of the patterns. Um, then we have we have a new desk, the STAAP desk. 
and it looks like just a standard desk but it's got like this little file cabinet thing on the bottom that's really cute like underneath and it comes in some really interesting color combinations I kind of like this the lighter birch wood with the green underneath and then of course we have to get the matching chair so that's cool I wonder if the chair has any other colors all right so yeah so it looks like these are all solid patterns um, that one's kind of cool with the white and pink. All right, then we have this cute. It's the uh, the hippopotamus. Get it? Hippopotamus, ottoman. I get it. <laughs> All right, so uh, there we have it. Let's look at the colors for this as well. Um, I really like that. It has a, a wide range of colors, and I think it'd be very versatile in a kid's room or even in the rest of the house. Right, and then we have our end table, which I wonder if we can fit over here. Kind of, not really. Alright. Oh, go against the wall. Um, I like that most of them have like these little cubbies and storage areas that pull out and you can just keep things in there. I think that's really cute. It's a good theme to have with the stuff pack. Um, which one of these would match? That'll match our desk. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Then we have some wall things. So, Sarah's scrapbook shelf. Alright, so it looks like we have a picture of a poopy dog. Um, scarf, necklace, purse. Uh, it looks like the pictures change. Um, so we have space. We have a mustache cat. Another dog. Another mustache cat. The scarf piggy. Alright, so it looks like those are the four main pictures. And there's just a variety of color themes to go along with it. We have the interlock me not honeycomb shelving. This is pretty cool. I like it. It's got the different colors inside. You can tailor it to fit everything else, just like everything's coming in a very similar color scheme. Gotta do all white. Yeah, I like that. And we have the Bosley Bot Big Bod. This is the wall decal. And really, I can't change the color. Alright, so you have to change the color before you place it, but there's a lot of different colors. And it looks like a different stance as well. So that's pretty cool. Alright, then we have these posters. This is the Pop and Lock posters set. <gasps> it's a fairy Sam. I like that. Alright, so... Oh, it looks like Tinkerbell. This one almost looks like a Cinderella version of a Sim fairy. Then we have the little hamster dribble rodent things. Some skater dancer guys. Some boy band pop stars. More boy band pop stars. Some fashionistas and more fashionistas. Okay. Very, very versatile there. Uh, we have the Wind Void Critter Decal. Alright. Does this change color? Oh my gosh! It completely changes shape. These are adorable! Alright. So these are clearly supposed to be designed after like cartoon characters and such. That's adorable. I like this little dragon one. That's cool. Alright, next. We have the Earth Void Critter Decal. Is the Void Critter a new game? That would be really fun. So we have this little flower plant thing. We have this turtle. Uh, we have a little beaver warthog pig thing. All right, it's cute. And we have the little chimpanzee with rocks for arms. Uh, this is the fire void critter deco. We have a little fire fox thing looking. Um, ooh, a blue wolf, that's pretty. All right, next we have this goldfish. Alright, the fire goldfish. And this lava magma looking thing. How many of these are there? Gosh. Uh, the void critter decal. These must be the originals. Little ghost looking thing. Another little spirit cloud walker goat horn guy. Alright, so yeah, these ones. This is like a manatee ghost on fire? I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. This one is adorable though. This is adorable. Alright, next we have the water critter deck out. We have like a little seahorse looking thing. Um, this little... How would you describe that? It's so cute though. These remind me a lot of the little Pokemon things, uh, that I... Little Pokemon things. The Pokemon stickers that I showed in my CC showcase. But this is like a little water buffalo beaver thing. And then the last one is a Norwal unicorn thing. Alright. Interesting. Interesting. So there's definitely some kind of game mechanic now that's very similar to Pokemon. And you can have your child sims or, you know, your adult sims. They're, they're not ashamed to support their favorite characters in their bedrooms. 
Uh, next we have the Thrifty Mirrors. It looks like it's just a thrift store compilation. Uh, different colors. There's a little bird in them that's cute. Now I have the Void Critter poster. Does this have multiple? No. No? Alright, that's, that's what it is. You've got most of them on there and it looks like it's got... Oh! Those are the My Sims! Is this a thing in the My Sims? Because I never played that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so confused. Alright, plenty of paintings. And these come in three different colors. The first very uh, bold colors, geometric shapes. And then we have some pastel pinks and flowers. And then we've got... Come on, change. We have... It looks like this guy. It's this robot guy. It's the robot guy. Alright, alright. Then we have the Triptych Limerick. Alright, this is what we saw in the other room. Um, so it's got butterflies, it's got the girls, and more girls, and a plane, another plane, beach scene, that's cool. Outer space, I really like that one. Uh, it's got animals, <laughs> mustache kitty, a bunny rabbit reading, and the bow tie pug. So cute. Alright, I like that. Very much like that. Now we have the Mirror Me. Alright, so this one has a little flowers on it, so it's really adorable. Very cute for a little girl. And it even has some other stickers for the little boys. Alright, and it comes in so many different colors. Cool, and it even comes in plain colors, so that's cool. Alright, now we have these butterflies. I'm so excited for these. The Night Bright Butterflies, and there's a right and a left one. So you could easily have them, like, flow into each other, or, like, make a circle or like like make a butterfly out of them i don't i don't know i don't know what you want to do but they're really cool um what colors do they come in all right so many colors all right so there's like rainbow colors blue pink purple orange white i like these ones the blue and purple there's just so many different colors Ooh, i like this the pastel ones i'm gonna put them on that can I make a match yeah that matches our bed pretty well i think Alright, then we have the FC Barboca Jersey. Alright, lots of different colors. It's a typical jersey in a frame. There's even a pink one. That's cool. I think they're definitely making an effort to make things more <sighs> tailored to both genders, I think is how I would say it. But here's the shelf of champions with the medals that we saw earlier. Uh, again, matches the color decor of all the other items. Don't peek room divider. Alright, so we got two room dividers. That's that one. And then the don't peek room divider with clothes on it. So I'm assuming they come in the same color options. Uh, different decals. There's space and then there's flowers. Um, it looks like that's all there is. Space flowers and then the plain ones. And then this comes in a variety as well with different options for the clothing on top. So that's actually really cute. I like the beige one. And then we have the Say Goodnight Lights. So these are really cool. I, I really like these. Uh, it's just pictures strung up with uh, lights around it. And you can see the cord even like twists around the pole that it's laying on. All right. So these are the different color options. And of course the pictures interchange with them. That's what actually changes. <gasps> The light cord changes too. That's interesting. I like it. I'm going to make it the purple one. Fun fact, purple is my favorite color. And then we have the Kulala Bear. Let's put him up here. So this is the Kulala Bear. Very cute name. Oh, no, that's what the thing is. It's a cool. It is a bear. Okay. Alright, so I was right. It looks like a little hamster. I like this one. The green one. Alright, and then we have the Boss Lubot. We'll put him up here. He comes in a variety of colors as well. Of course, everything does. I like the maroon and gold one. That is the... Those are the colors for the university I just graduated from. Alright, so then we have right-sized thimble. Okay. This is the garbage can. Um. Okay, so here it has like the little bow flower thing on it. That's cute. I want to even have spaceships. Right, I'm going to make it this one. I think it's cute. And we have the not binary clock. Let's see if we can find a space for it up here. Um, I'm pretty sure this comes with... Yeah. Matches the bed set. That's cool. I like that. I like the bear. Alright, next we have the get em young TV stand. Alright. So, let's see what colors this comes in. 
A lot of different bold colors that are very typical for a child's room, I, think, I feel. But then they've got like the neutral colors that could work well in any kind of situation. And right, we have the Take Me, me Take Me Seriously bookshelf. I like that they abbreviated seriously. Very cute. And this comes with the, it, this time it's Serious Bookshelf and the Puppeteer's Wardrobe. Oh, that's separate. All right. Let's look at the color options for these three things. Um, a lot of, I like this one with the white. Ooh, I like the purple bookshelf. All right. And then this is the wardrobe. So is, does this act like a closet that they can change or is it? Oh, no. Silly me. Silly me. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it this one. All right, so this is just like a regular dresser thing. Okay, my bad. My bad. Spaced for a second. We have the traveling trunk. Okay. So this is the like little treasure, treasure chest that I saw earlier in the room. And it looks like it comes with a bunch of like different postcard stickers on it. Flowers. Whatever you want, really. I'm just going to go with this one because I think it looks cute. Like an old time suitcase. Here is the uh, the big thing, the two big items I'm gonna save for last. But we have the blast off lighting. This reminds me so much of the little spaceship light in The Sims 3, I think it was. Yeah, it must have been, but comes in a different variety of light colors as well. And then we have the do-it-yourself paper lanterns, which I'll put them over here. We can take a look at the different colors for these. There's flowers, there's other designs. Um, yeah, yeah, I like them. All right, so now let's look at the two big items. We have the um, Punch and Nello's Theater of Fine Puppetry. All right, so we're gonna be doing something with that and we're gonna play Void Critter Battle Station. So this is the game where all those little critters came from. All right, so I'm just gonna see what color co combinations these come in. It looks like you can even get ones with little stickers on the side. I'm gonna get that one because I think it's cute. And for this, I'm gonna get, ooh, I like the green, it's like a camo. I'm gonna get the purple one, because purple is my favorite color. All right, so that's all the items. Uh, let's go ahead and go to live mode and have uh, Terra Nova and Rowley Nova play. So what can we do? Perform puppet show, search, for the notebook snatcher or creature of granite falls i want to learn about this creature of granite falls oh i should probably unpause it let's go play let's go play a puppet show come on i wonder if this helps you learn your video gaming skill and i'm guessing this helps with creativity that's or maybe they both help with creativity at the uh, young age oh no okay so the the puppet Thing helps with social. That's interesting. I might have to use this in my uh, Disney's Orphanage challenge. I might have to use both of these, honestly. Alright, so we're learning. Oh, it looks like a dragon. Handcuffs? What is going on? Let's just watch this. Let's just watch this. So he's obviously a detective. And she is the maiden in distress, and they're going to go and find out what happened with the monster. Alright, so they traveled. Oh no! That's the bear! That's cute! Alright. So we meet the monster. Oh, I didn't mean to undo that. I want to go back in tab mode and get more, more screenshots. More screenshots. So this is like a full-on theater. Hey, girl, you forgot your puppet. <laughs> That's adorable. That is so cute. Okay, I love this movie, not movie theater. I love this little puppet theater. I can't wait to see what other kinds of uh, scenarios we have. I'm sure as their social skill goes up, they'll unlock more uh, little play things. Oh, no, they're fighting. They seem to be getting along so well. Rowley, can you come over here and... What? Rowley must have a Void Critter card to use this object. He can buy a booster pack for- Okay. Alright. Looks like we're gonna go and buy a booster pack. So this is definitely like- Move some stuff out of the way. We're just gonna use this desk. So this is more- a little more realistic where you need to buy the game to play it. Let's go ahead and go to electronics. 
computer. We'll just we'll just plop a computer down real quick. Rowley, can you please go over here and where where order? Purchase medicine. Purchase void critter booster pack times five. All right, so you basically are going to get to unlock these creatures. So you can even keep track of the ones you have. I'm guessing uh, by putting them again on your wall and stuff like that. So Rowley purchased several void critter packs. He can open them from his inventory to discover which monsters are hidden inside. All right, let's go ahead and have him open booster pack. I would like you to come over here to Rowley. <gasps> Rowley tore open the booster pack and discovered Wisp white void critter card inside. All right, please come over here. I'm gonna open this. All right, so we have this little guy. Open another booster pack. Uh, we got the uh, my theme void critter, which is this thing, this shark turtle. That's cool. All right. Open another one, and we got this manatee, <laughs> the ghost manatee on fire, which is called Wiccan Void Critter. All right. One more. Open booster pack. We got the fire goldfish, which is Cyprin. And I like how they each even have their own names. That's adorable. Oh, and then we got this one, which is the Vulpus Void Critter. Obviously, it was a fox. All right, let's... Or, a, like, a wolf. Yeah, I don't know. All right, what can we do? Battle Void Critter against or train Void Critter. Let's train... Um. Oh, so they even have their own little stats. So they have Element, Void Power, and Playful Decor. Okay. All right, so we can probably take these and put them on like the desk, I'm guessing. Let's put Wisp. Oh, so you can even display your collection. That's really cool. I like that. Rowley, get the, get back over here. All right, we're gonna have him train Vulpus. Yeah, let's train Vulpus. Can we battle against? Oh, so if we give um, let's give Wiccan to Terra Nova. We can battle against her later on after we're done checking out this training. Alright. Well, while well, he's on his way over. I'm just gonna plop these other ones down. Can we put these in the- Oh, yeah. We can put these in the shelving unit. Alright. So we can keep track of- Can we put it- We can't put it on top. We can only put it in the little things. Why can't I put it up here? Come on. It's being very ridiculous. I don't know what happened to my game. I'm just gonna pause it. I, don't, I think we lost one. One, two, three, four. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but that was weird. Alright, let's see. So we put it in there like that. Oh my gosh. It's Freezer Bunny! I'm gonna take a picture. So this is us training, and it looks like we are just attacking until we level up or something like that, is what I'm guessing is what this is like. Alright, can I... I don't want to miss anything, but... Oh, look at it! We're, like, using different attacks, even. That's cool. I wonder if they have different attacks that show based on which element each creature is. That would be kind of fun. This... I love this. I love this game already. I'm gonna have my Sims play this so much. It's gonna be ridiculous. I should get one of these for Disney's Orphanage. Then they can play against each other. I don't think he's learning any skills though, which is a little unfortunate. Doesn't look like, yeah, no, no. Okay, maybe when he battles, he learns like creativity. I don't know. Reach social a level two. All right. What are you doing, Terra Nova? Oh, you're talking to uh, Mergy Sands. All right, uh, can we, oh, we can click on it. Let, ooh, enable emotional aura. Let's enable it. We'll see what kind of uh, aura it gives off. Uh, battle void critter against Terra Nova. We're gonna attack her Vulpus. So can I, all right, so now it's power level two, so that's pretty cool. And it's an uncommon card. They have different rarities. The goldfish is uncommon. Uncommon, or did we get all uncommons? No. Wisp is common. I'm gonna go ahead and enable that emotional aura. So I wonder what it's giving off. Oh, it gives playful decor. That's cute. So now we get to watch these two battle against each other. Oh my gosh. And they actually have to like push the buttons to make their characters attack. That's pretty cool. 
That is pretty cool. You have to admit that's pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna attack me. I look like I'm having fun though. <laughs> Alright, come on. I wanna see who wins. It's probably gonna be Rowley because he trained his creature. I wish you could rename them. I bet you probably could. Like, give them nicknames. That would be pretty fun. Alright, come on. Let's see who wins this. I don't want to speed through it because I think it's fun to watch, but... I know this video is pretty long already, so... We'll just double speed it. Am I going to win yet? This These battles take forever. I think that's the only downside, but to be fair, like... If I'm going to sit and play a video game, it's going to be for hours. It's not going to be for no 20 minutes. <laughs> Alright, did we... Ooh! Wisp's health is getting low. Oh, is he asleep? That's generally what the Z means. Alright. I think Rowley is going to win. Well, I modeled that sim after my brother, and I guess it's only fair that he beat me at something once. Oh no, did we lose? It looked like we lost. Still power level two. Let's check out this other one. Still power level one. Hmm, I wonder. I don't know if we won or lost, but. Oh no, got wrecked <laughs> uh, from a void critter battle. Uh, void critter battle. What a sweet match against a tryhard. Forget that. Ha! Even though he trained, he lost against me. Uh, void critter Victor. Tara brought her a game and walked away a winner. Ooh. We must have just had a good elemental pairing against it. So this is a void element and Rowley is was. Oh, a void element. I don't know. I don't know. What are you two doing now? Oh, they're playing with toys. Invisible toys. That's strange. Oh, it's like they're stuck on the shelves. Okay. Alright, well, I think I am going to end this part here. This is pretty cool. I really like the game station. The puppet theater would be really fun if I had more time to sit and watch them. But it definitely brought a ton, a ton, a ton of decor to the uh, children aspect of the game. And I'm really impressed with the creative sim items. Not as impressed with the boy, impressed with the boys' hairs, but the girls' hairs. I think more than make up for it. So overall, um, I don't know. I paid ten dollars for this pack. I definitely think it's worth it. Um, basically, what I would compare it to is like The Sims Three used to have the special packs you could get on The Sims Three resource. I don't even remember what the site was called, uh, but. You, you basically paid $5, got a couple items, and got like one, one main item that was usually worth a couple dollars on its own. But this pack comes with $10, I would say $10 worth of items, decor items, and, and, uh, cast items. Plus, you get two really awesome items for the kids to play with, the puppet theater and the, the little game console, the void critter game. So, I, I would say it's worth it. This bothers me. It was in the bookshelf. But anyways, I would say this pack is definitely worth it. And I think it's going to open up the doors for more creative uh, child involvement in the Sims LPs on YouTube. And uh, my own private gameplay as well. Because let's face it, the kids didn't have much. They didn't do much. And um, most people age them up early. So maybe, maybe now they'll get a chance to try to complete their Void Card collection. I wonder if adults can play them. Can you play a void card battle? No, only kids can. That's pretty cool. I like that. So it's a kids only thing. I mean, if, you know, I'd still sit on the floor and play this, but because it is on the floor, maybe that's why it's only for kids. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I would say this pack is worth it. I am pretty impressed with it and I'm really glad I got it. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps you guys make an informed decision. Or if you just like to check it out like I did. Um, what was this guy's name again? It's gonna really bother me. It's gonna really bother me. This is the Kulala Bear. Okay, so that's the monster in Granite Falls. Sorry if I spoiled that for you guys, but I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm wondering if they added this as a collection. They did! Awesome! So the Void Critter cards are a collection on their own. That's pretty sweet. So we- looks- oh! You can even get little descriptions of them! Alright, alright, so let's let's check out ours. So, 
Uh, in the depths of the Mavin forest on its homeworld, Vulpus used their ability to manipulate gravity and blend in with the violet leaf cam- canopy when hunting their prey. While the Vulpus dark purple and blue coat has made it difficult to conceal itself in its new surroundings here, its gravity bending powers experienced a substantial boost as its home original home is 104% the gravity of our own planet. Interesting. In the show's premiere, Leaf found his Vulpus while it was under control of a mysterious force. Since saving him, the pair have been inseparable, dealing with the trouble other critters cause around town. So this is clearly the hero's Vulpus is the uh, the hero's main one. Leaf sounds like he's the main character, and I'm wondering if there's probably a children's show or movie involved with that as well. I do not know the validity of that statement, but that would be my guess. I mean, they're talking about the show, so maybe the kids can actually watch it. I don't know. But anyways, thank you all so much for checking out this video today. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the new pack. If I missed anything, give it a little shout out below because I'm known to do that sometimes. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, my name is Terranova, and I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. Bye, guys.